And today we have the elusive, embarrassed, letter E has shown up with easy, eclectic, embellished, edge envelope, double tuck, ensemble. Okay, so for tutorial and details on how we made this, stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I'm here with the letter E. Finally, the elusive, embarrassed letter E has shown up, and we are going to be making an easy, eclectic, embellished edge envelope double tuck ensemble. Again, an easy, eclectic, embellished edge envelope double tuck ensemble. It's going to include a pocket and four cards. So the E has six parts. And here we go. We are, so it's an envelope double tuck. And again, we are working in our A to Z junk journal for A to Z junk journal challenge. And mine is using the Vibrant Pansy digital kit as well as the Pansy Digital Kit and the Antique Pansy Digital Kit. All of those can be found in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. And all of the digitals are on sale for 50% off while we're home. Okay, so I picked out several other things to possibly use. But the most important thing we need for this is our envelope. Okay, so I have this envelope here. It's actually a pretty large envelope. I do know the page that I'm going to be putting this on in my, um, in my journal. I have chosen, and I'm using a this magic paper clip here. Um, I've chosen a pocket page. Okay, so, and then this side, probably not a, si a page that you would... Um, write on unless you wrote with a really dark pen. So the way that my envelope, I'm planning for it to go in is it's going to go on this edge. Okay, so there's the edge part. Our double tuck will be on this side with the envelope flap on this side. Now I can put a pocket on either side. So this is an extra pocket that needs to be added. And then we need to have four cards. So one to go inside the envelope, one to go in our pocket on one side or the other, and our two cards that will go into our double tuck. And our envelope also, it needs to be embellished. Okay, so that is where I'll be putting it. How I chose my page was, again, that page in there. Um, is really not a writing page so it's a good place to put something and so here we go so I'm gonna go ahead and start with decorating my envelope and I thought you know we've been using some pattern paper throughout so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start by using the pattern paper I do need a new um, glue stick look at here we're getting we're going through the, the quarantine glue sticks. No, actually, I found this bucket, and I'm like, you know what? I should use those because I am running out of glue. So here we go. Um, then I'm also going to want my... Whoa, it doesn't want to turn. There we go. Okay. And I also want to um, go ahead and... pull out my book and this I'm using this book to um, okay so I'm going to start my glue stick and get it down to where it's easy to use and then just use this this is just a children's glue stick I buy these at back to school time usually just so that I have them and now lately I've been I'm really glad I, that I have them okay so I'm going to go ahead and fix this so that it will also go around onto the other side okay so it's going to add some texture and 
of you know another color to the other side here. Okay. There we go. Whoop. That's okay. We're collaging. We're embellishing. <laughs> the line to show up somewhere on here and look at there's lightly vaguely another set of lines there okay so I have really been enjoying collaging if you are here on the premiere I want to welcome you um, I think this is a really fun way to uh, get to be able to visit with you so a premiere is when I have a video come up and if I have the time I'm going to set it as a premiere and I'm able to chat with you like it's alive um, in the chat box and it has been so much fun we've done done two of them two of the videos like that two of the flip through videos and so, um, so welcome. If you are not live, then welcome anyway. I was so glad you're here, and I hope that you enjoy this. And if this is the type of videos that you like, that you'll go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when a video goes up. I do announce the... Uh, premieres in my Facebook group scrap all about it with dear Julie Julie and so um, that is another place that we're able to um, to visit a little better and hang out um, there we go so you'll um, get information about upcoming challenges uh, the free digital for the beginners series is in the scrap all about it with dear Julie Julie we have a lot going on right now I'm trying to keep busy I am trying to help to keep other people busy and yeah you know, so so we have a lot going on so I just went ahead and use that pattern piece to help me get um, something going on here on this page so let's go ahead we'll do one more and then we'll move on so we had all that rain here in California and you know what that means we have all that all those weeds <laughs> So, and we're supposed to have some beautiful weather later this week. So I'm looking forward to being in the garden and um, taking care of some of those weeds. Um, yeah, so it's my other, my kid, you know, hands in dirt, hands on paper, hands in glue. <laughs> Hands and glue, hands and paper. That's, or hands and glue, hands and dirt. That's my two favorite things. So, here we go. We'll add this on here. And that just gives, again, um, you know, kind of a foundation that I can use to start my embellishing of this envelope okay so um, and we used up that paper pad so just like we've collaged some of our other things um, I'm thinking okay so this is some children's writing paper and so I'm going to go ahead and add this onto our collage, and that will give you a place to write if you wanted to. So far this glue is drying pretty fast in between um, 
things. So let's see. So if we put it down here. Okay, so that will give us a place to write. Now I'm going to put this down in the corner and I'm going to turn this over. There we go. Add this down here. Oh, you know what? I think I want to add some of this stencil that we used. That we will have used it in another in another place. And we did it in brown. So I'll grab my my brown my brown brush. I'll use the vintage photo distress ink. And put it on top of the book. And just get us a little bit of that happening. That'll give us some more happening in the background there. got that going on let's go ahead and while we're at it we'll add some of this to this side before we put the the other stuff on And I'm not distressing this actual journal this time. Okay. So just go ahead and add a little bit of color there. Put the stencil back where it goes so that I'll be able to find it again if I want to use it. And... Okay, so that is helping with the embellishment of our uh, our envelope. And okay, so we need a pocket. I do have this beautiful card. Let's put our book. Have this one too. okay so this one's um, paperweight this one's cardstock this one's cardstock I think this would be a, a good pocket so I want to go ahead and fill that in and so you know what We're using um, crossword puzzles throughout this this journal, so for decorations, embellishments, and so if this is your first time joining, um, I'm working on parts of the April Junk Journal Challenge on the Dear Julie Julie Ch Dear Julie Julie channel. Um, you are welcome to join us. The, dis the details videos in the description box down below. And so you can check that out. 
and see if it's something you want, you want to do. Follow the directions there and come on over and join us. The deadline for this challenge is April 30th. So um, today is the 20th. So you do still have time to join us if you'd like, and we'd love to have you. We are making a journal that has all, it has 26 elements from the alphabet. Okay, so we just went ahead and glued around those, and we're going to add this pocket right here onto our collaged page. something gold. Oh well, this will work. We've been adding gold into this journal, so this will give us some give us something gold. Okay, so there's one side of our envelope. Now we'll come on over to this side. Now remember this will be our double tuck. So let's go ahead and give it a little bit of decoration. We have this washi tape that we have been using. And so I think we'll go with, wow, I don't know. Switch it up. Switch it up. We'll put a little bit here. And a little bit up here. And then we've been using this flower. And so I think that will be a, a great addition. Okay, so we have our pocket part of the ensemble done. We need to decorate this envelope and then make the three cards that will go in it. And that's the rest of our ensemble. And that will be our letter E. And I know there's several of you out there that were waiting for the E instructions because somehow the E didn't show up. <laughs> I had it. It's on my, it's on the chicken scratch list. But it didn't make it onto the, <laughs> the details. So this is the letter E. So, of course, you can distress any of this and make it look more, um, more distressed. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add these puzzles here. to cover up the back of this envelope. Okay, rather than, sometimes the envelope won't have as much room as this, and I just want this to um, be finished off. So what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my line and put my glue mostly across. We'll have to come in and add a little bit of glue at the edge. Okay, so. Uh, 
Uh, one of the things that I really do like to do is try and use up all the pieces of everything that's on my table. So when I pull something out to use it in a journal, I'm going to try and use it all up. So I had a little glue there on the edge. Okay, so now we need to come over to these edges and let's see, figure out where they line up. They're going to be on this set of words right here. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that that was, there we go. Make sure it goes all the way to the edge. So this one will actually have two pockets. So I gave it, I'm, I'm showing you another pocket choice, another way you can make a pocket for yours. Now I want to make sure that I'm as far to the edge as I can get so that this pocket is good and secure. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and um, pop up whatever you're, you're using. Um, and have it come up onto this side, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Okay. Okay, so there we go. And that gives us a place to put something in here. So I'm actually going to need four cards for my journal. Okay. So, or I could just not open that up, and but I'm going to. I am going to. So let's do that. Well, let's wait until we get. Okay, so here is, here's our flap. And we'll be having our line there. And so we'll have our two cards on that side. So we just need a card that will fit in here. I kind of like that. Um, but I think it needs a... Uh, needs to have more to it you know me and, and wanting more writing space so I think I'm going to go ahead and add this to that it can come over to the front or we can have it go down inside um, we can have this be in the middle so that you see the white on both sides I kind of like that um, so I think I'm going to go ahead and add this. I have the gold tool that we've been using. And there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, ruffle this a little bit. Okay. And. I can either put it so that it's on the front. I think I'm going to just because I like I like that messy edge. And we'll come down. And so this will give me a stack of note, but a stapled stack of note, not a not what I would call it. A true stack of note but it's still I mean it is a stack of notes <laughs> okay so there and I am gonna go ahead and cut this off the bottom because I want to see more of that heart um, okay so you can when you're making your your embellishments you can be aware of the other things that are around so that is one of the cards for my ensemble and now I need another I doubt I'm going to use these okay so we'll throw those away they had three lines or four lines possibly but not just one okay so I have this and I have some blue paper. And we have this.
we're going to make a little notebook. Okay. So, for this, if this was the center page... And I know that this is actually bigger than what, let's go ahead. Okay, so I can fold over to about the A in state. Okay, it's within my, my pieces there. And let's go ahead and fold this over. And see if we're still within this. Remember, this is paper here also. Okay. We're going to go ahead and fold these. Okay, so we'll fold these in like this. And then we're going to switch places so that you have a fold out on each side. It just gives you a little extra room, or you can even glue it down and have it be a side page. Um, that one's the one that goes in. And we'll put this in between the two. This is going to be outside. going to give us something that will that will go in our little pocket there this home repair needles um, from Dollar General and it comes with these needles that are really easy to thread I highly highly <laughs> recommend them so here we go go and it just goes like that and it's in. We don't need much. We'll do a three hole pamphlet stitch here. Don't really need anything more than that. It could even. So we're going to go up through the center. In through the top one. I'm going to pull this one over just so that mine doesn't grab on. I should have paper clipped this, but I didn't. It's going to be okay because it's so small and there's hardly any pages. We're good. I say that and then I can't get through there. <laughs> okay, so up through there, and then very simply underneath the stitch that we made. Pull it all tight and tie it. Okay, we'll double tie it. And go ahead and cut them off. And um, you can go ahead and add something to the bottom of those or you can just tie it in a bow so little places to tell an extra story I think are fun we're just gonna go ahead and tie a bow on this for right now
This is a mouse pad that had notes on note papers on it. And so that gives me that. And we can go ahead and add um, something to the edge here. Maybe got that. I like that. There we go. There we go. Okay. And um, yeah, so I, I like that very much. And so now we need to make our two little cards and our big card that's going to go inside here. We can go ahead and cut this. Now we could have it come in at the top. Or on the side. This time I'm going to do the side. So I'm just cutting the sliver out of the edge of the envelope. And that will give me the opening. And remember we've done this. So we've closed that off. And that gives us this big pocket. Um, the one other thing that I will do is I will use my one inch hole punch. And come in here and I will cut out a little notch and that way I can go ahead and um, you'll be it makes it easier to put whatever you're putting inside okay so um, another thing is I have my punch from the happy planner and you can see it punches out this little size of a card and so if you needed a card and you have your happy planner punch, so your double tuck, tuck cards, you know, don't forget that if you have one of these that you have it so that you can, um, you can use that. Use your tools. So... Yeah, so I had that, so I was like, hmm, I should, I should probably use, use one of those. Um, I do also have in my, I have some of these, and then we've been trying to use up some of the, um, the calendar pieces, so... I'm going to go ahead and rip across my calendar page here. And put that down. So we're making our little cards that will go into the double tuck right now. That's what I'm making right now is little cards to go into the double tuck. So... Here we go. We've got that. Then we can add this right on top of it. I am going to cut it down just a little bit more so that it is the size of the mini postcard there. I think I had this in my stash. From, um, I think it was from the bonus pages if you got your uh, spring blossom, if you bought the physical spring blossom kit. Okay, so there is that. It gives us this awesome little card. And we have been using... I don't know if I, I don't think we have any, I can't believe it. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and up here in this corner, we'll 
staple one of the, the little um, sequins on. So that gives us something a little different. And I'm going to call that a card, maybe with a little washi tape down the side. So there's one card for the double tech and that'll go in right just like that and for our other card go ahead and put this down here a square from the crossword puzzle because it's right here on the desk First, I'm going to add this piece across the top here. That way it will be underneath that. You could, if you just have a couple of those cards, you could, can just add those. But for this um, challenge, you want to, to embellish everything. Everything is to be embellished. Your embellished ensemble. Oh my gosh, we have a butterfly right here on the on the table. Just random little book page butterfly. I'm gonna put it up here in the corner. Again, I use <laughs> try and use everything. So here we have just a square of the it's the in the back of the crossword puzzle book where the um, all the answers are. Okay, we'll add that. Okay, I'm just gonna do a small. little tab here. So this is our our gold tool that we've been adding. I'm going to add it to this edge. Okay, there's that. And Okay. So this is Aha, look at, look at, look at, look at, perfect. This is part of the, some pansies from the Vibrant Pansy Junk Journal Kit. And I went through and I fussy cut a bunch of the pieces so that I would have them to use. No, Lucy, not right now. Okay, so that will be our bottom one. And you can see I decorated knowing that this one was going to go here and that this one is going to go here. So our things that stick out will be there and there. So stay tuned because we're not quite done yet and we will be showing you how those go into the... Um, journal. Okay, so we have these, I think this will fit in our yeah, it will. So 
we have these two note papers. And we have this. Okay. I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Okay, so we have this. I'm like, okay, what can we cover this with? How about some of that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to cover this side with This. So this is a file index card that I had in my stash and I'm going to cover it with uh, just a regular notebook that I've taken um, it off the spirals. There's too much glue on this but oh well. So that has lines on it. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of washi to the edge. Okay. going to add glue right here. It's going to be a different kind of stack of node actually is what we're going to do here. Okay, so this will come over and be on this. So this time we're going to go ahead and I don't think we glued this all the way down so let's glue, let's make sure this is glued all the way down. Okay. So we put our glue across and then we'll add our page on top. Put our glue across. Add our page on top and you could stamp these pages or stencil them also so I'm just gonna stack some of these note papers on top of each other So we are using this as our, it'll be our thickness. It'll help with uh, the weight there. And then we're going to come over and add this on top here also. Okay, so it's going to go just like this. Okay, match the edges, push it down. Okay, so we end up with a flip here. So you can tell a story in there. Okay, and you can go ahead and put something behind here. 
<clears throat> okay, so we'll put something behind here. Okay, so you've got your little card that can go behind here. And then all of the other... Okay, so you've got this that can come up. You have these pages. Hi, Lucy. Bye, Lucy. Okay. So you have all those pages. And then this part right here becomes like a clipboard. So you can put things underneath. Okay, so we're going to put that card underneath. And then we'll put this here. And then let's go ahead and decorate the front of this. And we have this piece of fabric. Doesn't need to be super super decorated, but I do want it. Oh, wow, so I'm my my glue stick got it's uh, goopy. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put this on. Remember, I like to use everything that's hanging around on this desk. What do you got here? Oh, part of the calendar. Go ahead, put that across here. We have a piece of the washi tape. We'll just leave it where it went. <laughs> and we have a piece of, of this, but I think we'll save that for somewhere else. And we'll add this down here. Of the gob. Put this down here in the corner. And okay, so we have this lined paper right here. I think I'm going to add this over here where I messed up on the washi. That might not bother you. Bothers me. And I'm fixing it only because there's something to fix it with. Otherwise I probably wouldn't worry about it. But there is this piece. And so I can add that. And because I like to use everything that's hanging around. then we have our piece of fabric and we'll be adding that with using our fabric tack and let's see. come around and we have this and don't we think we need that big of a gold piece how about this little gold piece? Whoa, we got glue coming out. <laughs> I have to fix that. Okay. I um, 
thinned my fabric tack with the acetone and I'm now in the bottle that's kind of thin. Whoop. But I'm grateful to, to have it. Let's put this down here. So this is fabric like we used in the, I used in the Valance and the fabric flips. And it was the piece that I had left over. So I'm really glad to um, get to use that. And then pull out our book again. I think this is the other book. I think the other one just fell on the floor. Um, and again, I really, oops, well, so we have, to, oh, and it came off in a good, good way. So we'll put this, put this one down here. We'll be more careful with this one. So this was a gold doily that I got from Michael's a couple years ago or last year, within the last couple of years sometime. And there we go. So that will give me this flip thing here. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and attach this to here. We'll go ahead and attach it all the way across, even on this paper. Okay. I love that it has the little pull out here. And this will go inside of our envelope. Okay, so this is the last part of our ensemble. Get it? Letter E, ensemble. And so this will go inside of our envelope. And so now let's go ahead and add this to the journal. And of course I took out the paper clip, but here it is. This is our page that we'll be adding this to, and it is going to come on and be right here. So that gives us decoration to this page. It'll flip over, and we'll have that. And so the way that we are going to attach this is well, we have a little bit of an edge here, so we're going to go ahead and take that off, clean up the edge because we want a straight edge to attach to, okay? There we go, okay? So this is gonna go here. I'm gonna go ahead and take out our extra, the extra weight here. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to apply my glue to the inside of this envelope, okay? So about a quarter of an inch in, um, we've discovered that it needs to be on the inside there or it um, glue gets down in the closure. And then we're gonna come back from the point down in and that's where we get our double tuck. We're gonna fold this down a little bit and have our envelope come right up onto the edge of our page and fold it over and hold it down. And look how pretty that looks on that page. Okay. So here we go. Put that down. We can come back and add our items into our other side. So again, we made our little notebook, just a little notebook that we can add to this side. Okay. And we made this little notebook, which I love with the extra pages in here and the sneaky clipboard behind it or tuck. And that, that card and that tuck also helps give substance here to the edge. And you'll see that our, our envelope 
is an edge double tuck instead of being a center tuck double tuck where you put your envelope in the middle of your book. And then it, your double tuck becomes a page. So make sure that your envelope and your little, you know, what you're putting in the envelope is going to clear the, the, the center there. I love the, the little collage that we have going on here. We can add these two, two, page, two pieces there. And then, of course, we can come in and add more um, later as well. So that is our letter E. We have a easy, eclectic, so very, very eclectic. We used all different kinds of items. It's embellished. All of it is embellished. It's an edge envelope double tuck ensemble. It includes a pocket. We actually included two. So we have this pocket here. You can write here. And um, and then, of course, you can write in all these places here. So we have that is our pocket. And then we went ahead and added a second pocket here to cover up the back of our envelope. And I absolutely love this. I hope that you enjoyed this. This double tucks are one of my favorite things to add to a journal these days. And um, like I said, if I find some more things, we may add some more items to this page, well, you know I will. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos come out. I do post at least one video every day. Right now we're doing two. The other thing that we're doing each day, each weekday, is live at 3.35. We have a beginner's junk journal series. We're on part 18. So would love to have you to join us for that. <laughs> Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Thanks for being here. Bye. Bye-bye.